Yeah, I thought he was in battle mode most of the day. The the fifth inning there, it was good to see him kind of get into traffic, guys on the bases, and, and work his way out with a key double play to Encarnacion there. That's that's a pitch or an at bat that's eluded him. Balsley went to the mound. Darren did a nice job kind of settling him and like talking him through how to get the ground ball and uh, did a nice job there. I felt at that point in time like he'd worked hard through those five innings, but uh, I thought. Overall, it was a good day for him. Uh, he's got, I think he's got more uh, in him than he had. I think probably the pitch that got him in the most trouble day, nobody thinks much about, but he tried a one-two slider uh, to Gonzalez there in the strike zone, which is not a pitch you want to throw him at that point in time. Uh, started that rally in the fifth inning and it got him into trouble. When you put people on base in front of the top of that order, you're going to get in trouble, but he fought hard and got out of it and got a win for us. Before the game, you talked about using both Yates and Maton in, in key situations, and tonight it was Phil's turn. He did a great job. This young guy continue to impress you with what he's able to do and the composure he shows out there? Yeah, he's great. I mean, there's, there's n- nobody has a doubt in him. Everybody feels confident when he takes the ball, he's going to go get the job done. Uh, I think he's throwing the ball incredibly well. Those two punch outs with Kipnis pinch hitting there. Uh, top of his own fastballs, exploding, getting strikeouts, and then comes back out the next inning and, and works through another inning for us and lets Yates stay down to be available tomorrow. So uh, it, it's a nice balance with those guys. If you got to go to the pin in the fifth inning when you still got pieces to use tomorrow that you feel good about uh, after going to the pin after five, two days in a row, it, it's a nice thing to have. In the middle part of the ball game, every time they scored, you guys were able to come back and answer. How important was that for you guys tonight? It's big. It's been tough for us at times this year to do that. Uh, I thought you look at the bottom of the order, and Carlos Asuaje had good at bats all day long. Uh, Jose Prella continues to, to crush baseballs, and he looks really good. Uh, would have been the best catch I've ever seen in my life if Bradley Zimmer caught that ball in right center field. I caught, covered more ground than I think I've ever seen. It was a phenomenal athlete out there. But uh, Perella swinging the bat well. I thought it kind of threw the order. We had big hits from a number of different spots. Eric Ibar continuing to do his thing. So. Uh, it's a good team effort from an offensive perspective. Is it great to see Will get a hit? Yeah, I think Will's going to feel really good about that. Breathe a little bit. Uh, he's been grinding hard. Uh, he hit the ball hard a couple at-bats before that. I think the line drive that Brantley ran down in the outfield there down the left field line. Uh, you know, really athletic outfield here. Those guys flat cover some ground. So there's not a lot that's dropping, but uh, it was good to see one fall in for him. Speaking of outfielders, what do you think of uh, Hunter Renfro's throw to cut down Jose Ramirez? Uh, don't know what StatCast said. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it because he's. Uh, I think he wants to get over the 105. He's already thrown this year, but uh, it's a great throw. And you know, a lot of teams won't throw through to home plate right there just because of the lead. Uh, I've always been in the persuasion if you got a tool, use it. And he's got a tool, and he can flat throw the baseball. And it was a great throw. A good play by Luis Trenz, who did a great job behind the dish again. You know, come in, catch Perdomo, uh, work through a veteran lineup. Uh, he did a really nice job. What's been with Perdomo these last like half dozen starts or so? The difference, the key for him, uh, the way he's been pitching. Yeah, yeah, for me, it's uh, against the left-handers in particular. I don't think you really got the call today, but you saw him front hip Lindor, uh, front hip Ramirez, uh, throw fastballs inside to them that keeps them from leaning out over the plate. Uh, he went through a kind of a most of the season pitching only away from them. They're leaning out over the dish. They're hitting him. Uh, now that he's using both sides of the plate, he's standing guys up. He's got more access to the outside corner now because of that. So uh, he's moving his fastball around. It's it's alive. It, it's good. It's got movement. Uh, but for me, I think that's why he has success because he moves it around. And your bullpen hasn't a lot of run this series. It's been, been pretty nine more efficient. I mean, it's been pretty lights out. They're good. I mean, the, the relievers through our pen, they're, they're good relievers. We've got a lot of really nice options down there, and uh, they've, they've done that for the vast majority of the year. Numbers skewed from like a bad outing here or there, but I think largely like you can go to the bullpen in the sixth inning against a good club knowing you've got a really good chance if you're going aggressively to shut them out because you trust your relievers.